New studio sucks. YouTube, you did it again. In our time of stressing over monetization, you put a new video into our dashboard. This time with two smiling people and not just one. You must be getting desperate. Alright, All right. let's click it. Hello? Stop talking, I'm still mad. I can't be listening to those people. Let's skim through though. A reasonable thing to do. Alright, nothing here, nothing there, nothing there, nothing here. Still nothing, no. Nothing, no, just talking. Nothing of interest. No, nothing, still no, okay. Look at this, they talk about the thing, I assume, but they don't show the thing they talk about. They show us how to get there. Alright, let me just find this here. And they use clickbait in the title of the sense of lying about the expected content of a video. At least that part is consistent with what we're supposed to be doing as creators, I guess. But show us the actual new studio? No, sir. What pisses me off, though, they don't even put a link into the description of a video. You claim to be wanting to teach us how to use YouTube, but you don't know how to use YouTube? Man, must feel good being a Monopoly. Alright, so let's just type this in. Studio.youtube.com Yeah, YouTube, I know you're desperate for us to start using this, and I'm at least thankful you don't force us to switch yet, but no way I'm letting this dumbed down UI take over as long as I don't have to. Anyways, let's first give it some credit for what is not horrible. There are slightly more videos per page. If we count, we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 videos at the same time. On the old video manager, we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and only 7 if we scroll down a little first. So the new design does make more use of vertical space, there is less padding, less unused vertical empty white space. But the horizontal white space. Let's talk about this later. Now this one is amazing. The demonetized video icon is actually better now. I have two demonetized videos and I actually thought that the new UI would be trying to make us not notice when videos are demonetized, but I was wrong. The new icon is red as it should be, rather than a hard to notice black as it used to be. Unfortunately, these are the only good things I can say about the new design. Let's continue with the problems. While some improvements have been made to the icons, the new style has colored dollar signs surrounded by nothing. This makes it much less visible. What we need is the old style of a colored circle with a white dollar sign inside of it. We need to be able to read information from the corner of an eye, especially with the new UI being extremely wide. We need solid colors, not thin lines. We need to see each video that is demonetized immediately. The old icons were great for that, the new ones are just bad. Some of the old icons had this filled style, now none of them has. <laughs> Search is painful, it feels slow to wait for results. The problem is not how slow the search actually is. The old video manager was not faster at finding the results, but what is really problematic is the gap of time during which you have no control over the page and the grey bar at the top does not move and you feel like the site froze. Please give us an animation. You know exactly why video buffering has an animation. It's so that viewers don't run away to Facebook or Twitch because they feel ill when videos get stuck. We need to feel something. The old system at least has the loading animation in the tab, but the new JavaScript infested interface just feels dead. There's no movement anywhere. Just give us a spinning loading circle, come on people. These mouse hover tooltips are super annoying. So here are the thumbs ups and downs. They couldn't put this into the spreadsheet layout? We have to hover to see this, really? Monetization has tooltips too. This video is being monetized. Oh really, you think the icon and the word on wasn't clear enough? This might be relevant for non-monetized videos, but people like to look with their mouse, so put it somewhere else. People don't like tooltips obfuscating their view. The real killer is the visibility tooltip for scheduled videos. Oh. My. Bloat. And the amazing thing is, they took all that space and still couldn't be bothered to write what exact time the video will be published on. The old UI showed it, the new one does not. 
This can actually be a real problem for some creators because it is easy to set the wrong publishing time, but if you show the time in the video manager, you can get lucky and spot it. The so far worst functional problem of the new studio is the lack of multi-select. The old video manager has an amazing feature that allows for example adding tags to multiple videos. You can even select all videos ever uploaded and then the tasks get processed slowly one after the other. However, I guess they will add it again, maybe? One tiny but super annoying detail. In classic video manager, the thumbnail links to the video page, while clicking the title leads to the edit page. Now in the new version, both lead to the analytics page. This is just wasteful. We can't get a link quickly anymore. We have to use the stupid dot 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 menu. Lazy. What is perhaps the biggest visual design problem is the wideness of it all. The wasted horizontal space makes absorbing the information on this page painfully slow and inefficient. I don't need words next to the visibility and monetization icons. I need icons that immediately tell me what the deal is and the ability to get more info by clicking them or hovering them. Don't try to make this wasted space relevant by adding useless on and public words. Keep it compact so I can check all the info for one video at a glance. The old UI was surprisingly good at this. There is some wasted space in the middle, but still. It was clear what info on the right belongs to which video and it's all compressed together. And it even added the time of publishing for scheduled videos properly. Finally, performance. The video manager is still slow. It was slow months ago, it is slow now. If you render a video on the computer and decide to check out your videos while waiting in the new studio, you know, manage stuff then you will notice how laggy scrolling through the video gets. Much, much slower than in the old video manager. Testers, please download a video editor, download some video, just re-render it and while doing so try the new studio. You will see what I mean. Let me just turn on a video render right now. It might mess with the video recording software but hopefully it will show the difference between old and new scrolling speed. There, do you see it? smooth scrolling in the old video manager, by comparison. And here you go, the new beta. Slow as a snail. If a snail was playing Counter-Strike on a 56 kilobyte style-up modem with a 1K ping, that is. So much for the problems in the new YouTube Studio interface. Ignoring all this, there is a feature that we really need, so let's discuss this. <laughs> There is one feature that we absolutely undeniably need and I promise that YouTube will never provide it because it would mean much more work on YouTube's end. This feature would lead to an extreme increase of demonetization appeals and they of course don't want us to make these because they don't want to have to hire more people to review those videos manually. What we need is the ability to filter by videos that were demonetized which we still can appeal against. We need to filter out only the videos that have the request review link still active. The new interface actually goes out of its way to hide the request review link. This is sadistic at best. In the old interface you at least could scroll through your videos and immediately kind of see which one you can still try to rescue. In the new one I don't think there's a difference like visually between those that you can request a review on and that you already did. Wow. There is not much we can do though. YouTube claims to be transparent but really is not. We have no way of knowing how our feedback is being processed. You can use the issue reporting features in the video manager if you have some spare time of course. If we are lucky this will actually make a change. Let me know in the comments what problems you found besides these in the new studio. And if you found something good please do tell me that as well. I hope to see you in the next video or hear from you in the comments. Until then, ciao!